In today's video, the boys are on the Weber Kettle Grill cooking Wagyu burger, and they're using grill grates? Hey, this is Ricer from Dead Broke Barbecue of Wisconsin, and welcome back to the channel. But if you're new here, we try to help you enhance and amplify your backyard barbecue fun. In today's video, my boys are cooking 100% black Wagyu beef. Now I got this pack of Wagyu burger right from Drath Family Farm. They're located in central Wisconsin. Now my boys know that there's a little bit more buttery fat in Wagyu burger, so they were smart enough to grab their grill grates. Now Wagyu really just stands for Japanese cow. And 100% Wagyu beef is rich in flavor and considered by most the finest quality of beef here in the United States. And Wagyu cattle have a higher percentage of omega-3 and fatty acids compared to your typical standard beef. Draft Family Farm was established in 1940, but in 2013 they started raising their own Wagyu cattle. Plus, their Wagyu cattle is DNA tested and traced back to Japan. I'm going to leave a link in the comments below so you guys can go check them out. And I also have Carrie and Nathan's phone number in there if you want to contact them directly. So roll out that Weber kettle, Scott, and sharpen up that spatula because we're going to eat like a samurai. Gents Dad's gonna be home pretty soon, and it's Father's Day. We should cook up some burgers for him. That's a great idea. Dad has some Wagyu hamburger in the fridge. Oh yeah, that package from Drath Family Farm? Consider it done. I'll make the patties. You fire up the Weber Kettle Grill. Perfect. I'ma grab those grill grates to prevent those nasty flare-ups. I almost said forest fires. <laughs> the first step to making these patties is of course opening the package itself. But before we open this package, we're gonna need to put on some gloves for sanitary purposes. Dang, does my dad have sausage fingers or what? I need to go get a different pair. Well, these are a little better. Always remember to cut away from yourself. Yeah. This is garbage. Now I'm gonna cut this Wagyu into approximately half pound patties. Now I'm gonna take this one and start rolling it into a ball. Now I'm gonna do the same thing for the rest of them. I got them all rolled up, now I'm gonna smash some patties. First thing we're gonna need to do is take a piece of wax paper and put it at the bottom of our patty maker. Then we're gonna take our meatball and put it in the middle of our patty maker. After that, we're gonna take another piece of wax paper and put it on top. Then we're gonna crush it. For little guys like me, I have to put all my body weight to crush this burger. Now I'm gonna open up the lid and take out the patty and put it on the cutting board. Now go ahead and repeat the process. Now I'm gonna take off our top piece of wax paper and throw it in the garbage. For today's seasoning, we're gonna be using fresh ground black pepper. This is 100% Wagyu beef and this is all we need. The patties are all made and seasoned up. We'll see you by the grill. Today we're using Kingsford Professional Briquettes. And we're gonna fill this chimney full. And we're gonna use two wax cubes and a lighter. Place the wax cubes in the center huh? and light them up. Yeah. Wax cubes are lit, place the chimney on top. Now set a timer for 15 minutes. Make sure to stay hydrated when you're outside grilling. Yeah. Our charcoal is burning clean and it's starting to ash over. I'm gonna spread these coals right through the center of the kettle. This is hot, set it off to the side. Now I'm going to use this charcoal rake to spread these coals through the kettle. Put your grill grate in. Put your grill grates in across the charcoal. Put your lid on and set a timer for five minutes to warm up those grill grates. My vents are set to wide open. 
Our grates are set to about 600 degrees. Now we can put on the burgers. Yeah! Now set a timer for two minutes. Our timer went off, we're gonna rotate them. Set a timer for two more minutes. Our timer went off, now it's time to flip them. Wow! Put your lid on and set a timer for two minutes. Our two minutes went off, now it's time to rotate them. I'm not putting the lid on. I'm cooking them till they're finished. Grab your Insta-Read thermometer. We want these done to 145 degrees. We're getting there. We're at about 140 for this one, 124 for this one, and 124 for this one. These are getting close, but we got another minute. I'm gonna pull this one. This one's done. Huh? And I'm gonna put it on the cutting board. And now I'm gonna check the other ones. This one's getting pretty close. I'm gonna pull this one. This one's done. This one's done. And this one's ready to pull too. We're gonna let these rest for about five minutes. I'm gonna do something special tonight and I'm gonna toast these buns up. Now I'm gonna rotate them to give them the cross hatch. We have about 30 seconds and then we're gonna pull them off. These are done, so I'm gonna take them off and put them back on the cutting board. This is toasted to perfection. These are looking good. Oh yeah, dad's gonna love these. Happy, Happy Father's, Father's Day! Now that's some boys that everybody should have. Let me try one. You got one put together the way I like it? Yeah, right there. All right, here it goes. Awesome. Wow, what a Father's Day present this one is. Look at that, they did a pretty good job too. This draft family farm Wagyu is awesome. Juicy, it's running down my face. My boys even used grill grates. That's awesome, they're thinking. No flare ups, right? Yeah. Those grill grates do an excellent job on Wago beef. I'm very proud of my boys. I've taught them how to grill. I'm not afraid of them getting on here and making food. Everybody should teach their kids how to grill or cook food because you're teaching them independence. And if you don't have any kids, check out the Boys and Girls Club. Everybody needs to be taught how to cook barbecue. Thank you boys, I'm really proud of you. Unbelievable Father's Day. You guys rock. Nice and pink in the center. They did pretty good for 11 and 12 year old. Happy Father's Day, everybody. For this week's comments, I wanna do it just a little bit different. I wanna give a personal shout out to three of my good friends for helping encourage me to start my own YouTube channel. Number one is Hans Hartleben, and he's a good friend of mine and he's rode my butt until I started this channel. On his channel, he likes to do a little bit of humor and a little bit of common sense. Now he hasn't put out a video lately, but if you get on him, I'm sure he'll start again. Number two is Scott Tappa. Scott and I coach youth football and we've been doing it for several years. He's had his football channel for a long time and I know barbecue and football go together and I bet a bunch of you guys are coaches yourself. So go check out his channel. You might even see me in some of his drills. And number three is my good friend Barry. He has Bear's Workshop, and he also owns a lawn care business, and he fixes the stuff that he uses. And all of us have some type of a lawn care gadget, or he even fixes cars and he's put springs in his motorhome. So if you feel like watching something other than just barbecue, check out their channels. I'll have their links in the comments below. Thanks guys for giving me the encouragement to start my own channel. I really appreciate it, and a big thumbs up to you. And a big personal thank you to Drath Family Farm for supplying us that Wagyu burger. Thanks Carrie and Nathan, I really appreciate it. That burger was incredible. Plus, my boys had a lot of fun cooking it. Now the last thing I wanna add is my good friend Dash from SDS BBQ. He's come up with a collaboration for all of us barbecue YouTubers called 
hashtag grill my cheese. I'm gonna put a link to that video in the description below. So check it out. I think it's gonna be a good time for all of us barbecue tubers. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and become a subscriber. Crush that notification bell so you don't miss our next video. Stick around. My bloopers are always pretty good. And we'll see you soon. Perfect. I'm gonna get those grill grates to prevent per. Take a piece of wax. Darn it. I forgot the first part now. Put your. Our vents. Our vents. Our went. Our vent. Our went. Vents. My vents are wide open. My vents are all the. Stop kicking the